Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Sorry about the shaking there. <laughs> um, if you see me use this every now and then, it's because I'm in a closed room that has no AC and we are looking at plus stupid humidex temperatures here today. So it's a little warm and my makeup has been on for half an hour and it's already melting. So I did my makeup except for the eyes because that's what I want to do on camera. And if you hear any noises, my husband is out working in the yard because him and a bunch of other guys, one is our neighbor, really really nice of them to help out they reshingled our what we call our garage because it's a lot bigger than the average shed and because it's a separate building it's more like a garage so we just call it the garage and they reshingled that so that that was that was cool that a lot of work my poor husband couldn't have handled that on his own he could have done it he would have done it and he would just power it through but then he would have been really really in bad shape so I am very thankful that they came to help him out. And uh, on the other side, I'm doing laundry. <laughs> That's why I had to shut the door. So to minimize the noise. And the other thing I tried to do, because my internet is working, is I tried to connect to my tablet. But every time I connected the camera to my tablet, the internet would go off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the other, the last video I did, and hopefully I'll remember to put that one up before I put this one up, I was working with liquid shadows. I love the look of liquid shadows when people do it. I love how shimmery and, and glossy and beautiful it looks. And I have not had that kind of luck with them. And we are also limited here on the liquid shadows we can buy. I even bought one and the doe foot fell off. Like seriously, such bad luck. And the blue that I had tried from e.l.f. was awful and patchy and gross. And yes, uh, not yesterday, a couple days ago I put on uh, from e.l.f. It was called Galaxy, I believe. And when I tried it on my hand, it was beautiful and glossy and almost looked like it could be a duochrome and then I put it on my eyes and it looked okay but then it just looked dull just dull shimmers and I'm like really <laughs> so I'm getting rid of my liquid shadows they're not for me I can't get them to work I'm not gonna cry over it Megan's gonna be happy there we go so today I brought out these. These are my pencils and I know I've been good with pencils. I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do a liner with my Charlotte Tilbury. It's a brown and it's nice and creamy so I'm going to try to use that instead of the It. And I'm actually thinking of using this color which is color Champagne Diamonds or why am I hurting myself? Okay, amethyst is the wrong color. I'm not taking that because I'm not, I'm wearing blue. I'm not wearing, I'm going to not wear purple. This is magnetic pink. I don't think I'm going to do that. But I am going to use the base, which is au naturel. All right, so we shall start with that. And which, I cleaned all my brushes. I'm such a good girl. All of them. All of them, all of them. <laughs> and I am so thankful for uh, Jamie Genevieve for showing me her little trick to do the brushes because I can't handle staying on my feet long enough to do it the other way, which is one of the reasons why I got so lazy washing my brushes. But this way, 20 minutes, they were all done. Use a sieve, people. Use a sieve. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my videos on how to do it. It's, it's amazing. Okay, now I'm just going to put this on 
and because I didn't put any eyeshadow primer this time I'm like no nope, I'm gonna use this because I have it and it's Laura Mercier and it's nice and creamy so this is what I'm gonna use now th the other problem I have is I see people when they do this put the liner on first and when I did that with the elf liquid liner yeah it didn't go well so I'm gonna try to do there we go okay that is the that thank you Laura Mercier so I'm going to take a pause I shall be back okay I'm back and I hope I can actually put this stuff together as you can see it needs sharpening and my Charlotte Tilbury sharpener which is the only one with the fat side was not in my tools caddy which is sitting right beside me so I really need to get another fat sharpener all right that goes there that goes there let's see if I can do this it's it's really light it's really really light I like a little more oomph in my shadows, but it's almost summer. We've got the heat of summer. So I figure let's go a little bit more. I want to use the word demure for some reason, but that's not quite it. More subdued there. It's the liner that's going to be harder for me to work with. And the whole idea behind the liner is to try and smoke it out a little bit. I think my eyesight's getting worse because the plus five doesn't seem to be cutting it very easily. Which means I need to find a plus seven this size. I'm not a summer person. I'm really not. I'm a fall person. I was born at the end of August when it's not quite so hot. Okay. Let's see. Oh God, that's not working out. <laughs> Halfway on top of my lid. <laughs> Okay, there we go. No, it keeps wanting to go on top of my lid. That's why people do it that way. Okay. Oh, this is not working. Not working at all. That's why people do it the proper way as opposed to the Bridget way. Everybody, don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> if you want your eyes to look pretty, do not do this. <laughs> I'm going to try and fix. Oh, my goodness. Well, at least I'm getting it on the lash line, so that way, sort of. Let's 
see if I can do it here. <laughs> hey, at least I'm having fun. Okay, so next time I do this, maybe tomorrow, depending on what I wear, Ooh, I could use my By Terry with a black liner. Mm. Black leggings and a white top. I'd be down for that. I would be down for that. But we're looking at plus 36 with the Humidex, if not closer to 40. That's probably 110. I'd ask Google, but Google's in my bedroom. <laughs> I'm not going to put a whole lot of eyeliner because it is going to melt. So I will just put it in my waterline. Hope you guys can see. My husband's washing the deck. I told him I was doing a video. But he's so busy that he probably forgot. Too much on his mind. Between me and work, the poor man is overloaded. Okay, I am done messing up my eyes with the eyeliner. <laughs> how I learn what works for me. I learned that the liquid liner, uh, liquid shadows don't work for me now. <laughs> I, I learned that um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Do it the same way, the same order as everybody else does. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of, it's actually nice. It's, oh, and my, I don't have it here because I've only got the, my um, blush is the Little Elf. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, but it's the orange one. It's probably apricot or something like that. Um, I, I, I put on five layers of it. It was just not showing up. Maybe I have gotten a bit of sun through the windows, but uh, yeah, I can't say through the windows because I've gone out a couple of times even though I'm inside the car most of the time I've got enough melanin thanks to my ancestry that it doesn't take me very much to get color it doesn't take much at all you should see my husband oh my goodness he is so dark but he works outside all day every day he uh he looks like a chocolate bar. A milk chocolate bar, but a chocolate bar. And then when he takes off his t-shirt, oh, yeah, farmer tan. <laughs> and he's too self-conscious to work without his t-shirt on. I don't know why, but he's entitled to his feelings. He doesn't want to take it off doesn't have to take it off. But for a man of 58 years, he looks good. He looks very good. He's got a bit more gray than I do, but when he gets a haircut, it almost disappears because it's he gets a cut here, and most of his grays are at the nape of his neck and his sideburns. But you should see his beard. He, he's got two one-inch thick strands of gray. <laughs> it's hilarious. And there we go. And hopefully I can edit this video properly. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking steps. 
baby steps, but I'm taking steps. One, one, one itty bitty baby step at a time. Something's happening. Something's changing. Something is getting better. Once again, thank you so very much for coming to visit me on this very hot day. I'm sweating. I, I'm, I have to go put an antiperspirant on again. <laughs> TMI, I know. <laughs> Thank you so much for visiting once again. Please leave me a comment, like my video, and subscribe to my channel. A bientôt!